It could be the biggest leap in capturing our world since the photograph. This is virtual reality. Now, when you hear VR, you might imagine people wearing headsets, turning their heads and waving their arms. You might think it's a joke, but when you actually see it, when you try it, you stop laughing. All around the world, engineers are fine-tuning technology that immerses you in a 3D, 360-degree experience. Giants like Facebook are betting big that we'll all be strapping goggles to our heads and flailing around in the next few years. And Oculus is the company leading the way. I think that virtual reality has the potential to be the most connecting technology of all time. 23-year-old Palmer Lucky created Oculus as a teenager working in his parents' garage. I got into VR not because I was looking for the next likely financial return, but because I was a science fiction enthusiast who was entranced by the idea of virtual reality and using VR uh, particularly for video games. In 2012, Lucky used Kickstarter to try to keep his project afloat. Make a pledge and help us change gaming forever and they ended up raising nearly $2.5 million. We were one of the most successful crowdfunding campaigns at the time, not because a bunch of Hollywood studios or a bunch of electronic mega corporations came in and said, this is our next feature we're gonna to use to sell people new TVs. It's because people said, we really want that. Last year, Facebook bought his startup for $2 billion. I'd seen VR before, but this was by far the best experience I'd ever seen. It was like teleporting to some other place just by putting on a headset. I was seeing the next great technology platform that's going to define the way that we all connect in the future. Hold on, give me a minute here. If you're like me, Hearing other people talk about virtual worlds living inside goggles is not very compelling. That's actually an implicit problem of VR and reporting about it too. It's the see it to believe it problem. So this is the best I can show you. Watch the first time I ever played games inside Oculus Rift. It's like being in a child's playroom, knocking on a ball. Oh, dropped off my hand. Someone firing at me, I'm firing back so I can point at the other player that's where, where are you? Are you next door? So I'm grabbing a slingshot, and as I pull it back with my other hand, uh, it's actually really hard to put into words. Palmer has had more experience choosing the right words. How do you describe virtual reality? Virtual reality has that power to really allow you to do anything. Anything you can imagine doing in the real world, you can do, plus the whole set of experiences that are not possible in the real world. Right now, VR is mostly about gaming but you can hear where Lucky's going with this. Movies in VR, live news events in VR, even face-to-face -face meetings. You can take people from opposite sides of the world and put them into the same virtual room together. Once you can do that well enough, you really remove the need for people to travel and burn tons of jet fuel to get around the world. You remove the need to have massive conferences where you expend huge resources just to get people in the same room talking to each other. So will his dream come true? While Oculus is not the only player in this virtual space, Sony has Project Morpheus, HTC has Vive, and then there's Microsoft's HoloLens, VR startup Magic Leap, and Google Cardboard, a cheap headset that uses your cell phone as the display. But virtual reality doesn't always come cheap. The Oculus Rift system is expected to cost $1,500. I think our biggest challenge is driving the quality up and the cost down. The public might reject VR the same way it rejected 3D TV but Oculus has the potential to change the very definition of a screen. Because when you're looking at virtual reality, you forget you're looking at a screen at all. We invented photographs and then radio and then television and then the internet. Do you believe VR is the next in that line, a whole new medium? I think VR is interesting because it's not only its own new medium, it's also capable of emulating all prior mediums. Within the next few years, we would probably end up having a meeting in virtual reality. And what's great is you could you know, be in New York and you know, freezing in the city, and I could be sitting on a beach in Southern California or you know, in the smog of Los Angeles. But to us, it doesn't matter. We're both wearing VR headsets, and we're feeling like we are right now here in the same place.